Well, 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 it is definitely time for a change. Hey everybody, Cassie here and welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Thanks for stopping by. Well, it's that time of year again. It's cool outside, the leaves are falling, and if you're anything like me, you run to the comfort food. Now, four years ago, my idea of comfort food was much different than it is now. It included all of the carbs, cakes, pasta, lasagna, casseroles, pies, bread, you name it. I ate it and I overdid it. And that's why I ballooned up to 295 pounds. But I'm happy to say now that even though I still crave comfort food this time of year, I make healthier choices. And that is all because of carnivore. Now, we're not even at the holiday season yet, although it's right around the corner, but I'm already beginning to see that I'm losing my grip and I overindulge. And that's what I wanna to talk to y'all about today. But first, I wanna quickly thank the sponsor of this video, Element. I wanna start by saying I absolutely love this product. I've used Element electrolytes, both the raw unflavored and the flavored versions every day for the past two years, and I've lost almost 100 pounds on my carnivore diet journey back to better health. Each packet contains 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Everything you need to stay hydrated on your low carb diet. And finally, Elements Chocolate Medley is now available. Each box contains 10 packets each of the chocolate chai, chocolate mint, and chocolate raspberry. These are delicious. Now they're meant to be enjoyed hot and they're only available for a limited time. As always, Elements offering our viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight free single serving packets with any Element order. So check out our link below at D-R-I-N-K lmnt.com forward slash carnivore quest to get yours today. And Elements customer service is amazing. If for any reason you're not 100% satisfied, keep the product and receive a full refund. Thank you again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. So most of you know that I was so close to the 100 pound weight loss mark. I was this close, but you know, it's been a stressful month. We were hit with Hurricane Helene. We were without power for seven days. We had some roof damage and it was just a mess and we're still continuing the cleanup, but can finally see the light of day and things are getting back to normal. Most of you also know that Larry fell off the wagon, it backed up, rolled over him again, <laughs> etc. But you know, he's doing great. He's doing the BBBE challenge and he is just feeling so much better. But me, on the other hand, I am not doing so well. And that's not to say that I've fallen off the rails too. I'm actually doing very well. I am day 25, no coffee, with the exception of one day. I have an explanation, I have an excuse, but don't wait all. But I only had one cup and that's while I was on vacation last week visiting my dad. They didn't have the chai latte that I wanted. I was out and about enjoying the day with my stepmom, Marty, and... I just decided to have a cup of coffee. <gasps> but that was last week and I'm back to doing great. So I am 25 days minus one without coffee. Now, the last time I gave up coffee, I went 50 days without, but I also went 50 days without any dairy. But this time it's a little different. I didn't give up the dairy. With the holidays coming up, I like to create new recipes for y'all and maybe myself too and Maybe I wanted to torture Larry a little bit. So with creating the new recipes, you know, Larry's had to watch and smell and observe all the taste testing. So he's been tortured enough, but I'm noticing that my clothes are getting a little bit tighter. My cheeks are a little more puffy and I, I can just feel it all around. The overconsumption of dairy has definitely had an impact. Now I've not been on the scale because I don't want to disappoint myself. But it's time. It, I, I've made the recipes, I've ate the cheese, I've drank the cream, and it's just time for me to tighten my grip a little bit. Before the holidays hit, for those of you who don't know, we have a holiday challenge every year. It's six weeks, it starts right around Thanksgiving, and basically we just kind of loosen up. It's about not gaining and not going off the rails on the holidays because we have found through trial and error, many holidays in a row, it's just too difficult to stay on course. So for the last couple of years, we've done this challenge and it's really helped. 
Not only did Larry and I get by the holidays the last two years, several of you have too. First time ever for so many. And that's just, that's an amazing feeling. You know, when you know that you can get by the holidays, knowing doggone well, you could down a whole pan of brownies or grandma's cookies, or you know what you're capable of. Because if you're anything like me, I could do some damage. So when I say loosen up, we do eat some cheese or maybe even go a little keto for. We're certainly not eating stuffing and mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie afterwards, but we do tend to eat a lot of dairy. And there are a ton of carnivore recipes that mimic old comfort foods and most of them require dairy. Our last holiday challenge, our Carnivore Quest community lost over 1,500 pounds, but many of them didn't gain weight for the first time in their lives. And that's amazing. That's what it's all about. So I know during our holiday weight loss challenge that we will be consuming some dairy. So for the next two weeks, I need to tighten things up. No more dairy. And I challenge you to join me. Two weeks, that's all. I know you can do it. And I know there's a lot of you out there who have been struggling with the dairy. It's been a struggle for me ever since day one. It's definitely something to be aware of. And you know, on occasion, need to tighten up. Why is it we crave comfort food this time of year? Well, I did a little research because a lot of people talk about this and I'm sure if I would have watched one of Dr. Barry's videos, I would know the answer to that, but I didn't. And if any of y'all have, go ahead and comment below. You know, we're not getting enough vitamin D. We're not out in that sunlight. Our serotonin levels drop right along with it. We're not as active and we lead a more sedentary lifestyle. And there's hormone changes. I know I'm probably gonna get the pronunciation of this word wrong. My medical terminology is garbage. But glucocorticoids. That's a hormone that's released when our body is under stress and fall and winter, you know, you get a little bit chilly your body's under stress. And because of that stress, your body produces more melatonin, which makes you tired. When we're tired and stressed out, if you're anything like me, one thing that was always comforting is comfort food. I'd run straight to the kitchen and make myself something that's gonna make my mouth happy and I'm gonna feel satiated for a little while and get those dopamine hits and just feel better. Of course, we all know that's temporary and it's not good for us. But since going carnivore, let's just say meat-based, the term is relative, but the comfort food that I run to is different. And yes, I still overindulge. For example, the other day I made cinnamon rolls. This recipe was inspired by Courtney Luna. I tweaked it a little bit and I made it my own, but oh my gosh, I ate almost the whole pan. Yes, I did. And yes, I'm constipated. <laughs> it's what happens. It's a lot of cheese and man, was it good though. It felt comforting at the time, but really it, it wasn't because the constipation has not been fun. Also, I've made Courtney Luna's noodles, yet more cheese. I've made the viral cottage cheese flatbread at least half a dozen times with cheese on top. While I was on vacation, I had a few keto war meals. You know, we went to a Mexican restaurant and I got the fajita plate. So there was guacamole and the peppers and the onions and I ate every last bite of it. Again, you know, the comfort food and, and what you run to and what you consider an off-plan meal now, it's really not that bad. What is so bad about it is overindulgence. The cinnamon rolls that I made, I should have shared them. I should have had one, maybe one and a half and left it at that because it's like 12 ounces of cheese, a lot of dairy. And of course I'm still drinking my chai latte. So with that said, you know, it, it's just time to tighten things up. Otherwise I'm going to be pushing that 200 pound mark again in no time by the end of the holidays. And I keep that mindset going that, well, it's the holidays loosen up, you know, this is lifelong that, you know, these are the mental gymnastics that I play. It's time to squash that mindset. I'm getting far too complacent with my journey and I'm far too comfortable with where I am. Sometimes I look at that belly and I feel all of 295 pounds again. And there are other times, you know, it's like, gosh, you've done so great. You've made great strides. You're down almost a hundred pounds or from my heaviest, well over a hundred pounds. And I've stuck to it because I do loosen up. Now that doesn't work for some people. It's definitely hindered my progress. At least 
maybe that's what you can say. You know, I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. I honestly believe that the way I've been doing my diet has greatly helped me. Dairy and all, stalls and all, for me, it's what works. But I've also trained myself to tighten things up. I know I can do this. I'm gonna do two weeks. Well, actually, I'll take it two weeks at a time. But come on now, Thanksgiving's coming up. You know doggone well there's gonna be a cheesecake involved. And I'm even thinking about trying Chris cooking Nashville mashed potatoes this year. So yeah, I think that's gonna happen. What do y'all think? You in? You wanna give it up for two weeks? I mean, it's 14 days. If it's something that's been on your mind, 14 days. We can do this. You know, one thing I really love about this community is we keep each other accountable, we encourage one another, and we inspire each other. I read your stories and your comments, and I get so much inspiration from some of y'all. I am thankful for each and every one of you who encourage us by watching our videos and maybe a thumbs up and a sweet, kind worded comment. It really gets me right here. So starting October 30th, no dairy. I'll still have my chai latte, but it's gonna be the dairy-free version with the frothed egg. That's actually really good. I mean, once you get used to it, it's quite delicious, but we know that nothing can replace our dear comforting cream, but we're gonna try. Thanks for stopping by everybody. And for the warriors who have made it this far, leave a comment below saying happy holidays. And if you're in, say I'm in. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating, and starting October 30th, no dairy.